ready for the four litre straight six engine under there? This is the moment we've all been waiting for. I'm not sure how to. Found out how to do launch control, okay. don't worry. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> You actually lie. I was so in <laughs> trouble <of> myself. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. So today we've got a brand new supercar. Now some of you have already noticed this in the background of our most recent videos. We've had this car for a couple of weeks now and it is now time to be raffled. It is live on the website. We will be uploading exclusive content only on our YouTube. So if you want to see more sneak peeks of the cars, then be sure to subscribe and enjoy the video. To wear goggles. Well, that's where we're getting wrong already. Here we have the Porsche 911 GT3, the 992 model, brand new, 21 plate, 3,300 miles. I've never actually seen one of these in person before. Car was a big fan of Porsche as well, so we will be taking this out, getting a first drive, showing you guys an overview of what there is to this car as well as performance. So we are going to be putting this to the test trying out some North 60s uh, with the new Draggy. But yeah, check out the Ferrari video. Uh, we used the Draggy for the first time. It basically records your North 60s. Did you even get a North 60? Oh. It's quite a cool little device. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're gonna be doing that with this car as well. I feel like I'm in a spaceship driving this right now. So I don't know what I just said, but you can activate voice control on here. Porsche. Hey Google. Okay, so it's not that. We're both, I've got them on 18 and 17 right now, so I want to see if it changes it automatically, because I'm quite amazed right now about, by all the new, because I've never been in a Porsche this new before, so it's all very digital. So there's Please a, confirm the here message. We, here we go, so. Excuse me? I'm cold. I'm cold. I'm cold. Say, for example, I am cold. Please confirm the message. I am cold. It will get warmer in a minute. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, I will admit. Uh, I mean, I put it to 22. So, I mean, it's standard room temperature. It says, it's, yeah, it's out there again. we're going. First drive out. See what it's like. I'm so excited to drive this. I've been saying it since we've got delivered that I can't wait to drive this. There's so much more modern in here than the older ones. Like this is, yeah, so much nicer. Yeah, even this is all angled. Yeah, it's lovely. Steering wheel's much nicer. Everything about this car is much nicer than the 991. Like this is all a lot smarter. What's this do? You can take the cup holder out as well if you want. Don't know what that's about. <laughs> You know what, that's my favourite thing about Porsches, it's not revs to 9,000k, like 9,000k, 9,000 RPM. It sounds a lot quieter than my one actually, like from standard, yeah. sounds very quiet. wonder if it, um, yeah, OPF or whatever in these. First impressions are much nicer though, this interior is lovely. It looks like it's got nearly every option as well, it's got cruise control. The driver mode on the steering wheel here is pretty cool, but it is definitely quiet. It's got the Sport Chrono pack as well, which is nice. The bucket, the Club Sport. These seats feel hard. <laughs> yeah, I must admit, the seats are hard, but they're comfy. Like they're, they're nice, aren't they? They're, they're very well supported as well, which is nice. Be good for a, if you want to take it around track. The cockpit's lovely, nice and angled. Everything's nice and high. Feels like you're in a nice little cockpit. It drives very similar though, the way it feels, the way it holds the road, it's very, very similar to the old ones. But that's something Porsche don't need to change, they've hit the nail on the head with that and their geometry. Yeah, first feels and first impression, we haven't managed to give it a good boot yet, but feels a lot, very similar to the 991 on how it handles and how it drives. The interior is a lot nicer place to be, the seats are very similar, hard but still comfortable. The interior is, yeah, ten times better much more modern, 
It's very focused on the driver, the way the cockpit sort of angled round towards you. They all come with a cage then, Sam? No, so only the club sports have got the cage, um, which is a big must in our opinion, hence we got the club sport one. I think the club sport comes with slightly different seats as well. Um, it's kind of similar to the 991, what they've done on the club sport there. You'd get like, you know, the ceramic brakes, you'd get this uh, cage, you get the seats. It's kind of similar to what they've done with this model as well. Another big one that's been released from Porsche is the GT3 RS. It's out as we speak. Um, a few of them have now been released, which is basically this, but jacked up better. <laughs> Don't know how it's a bigger, bigger wing pretty much is the main appearance look, but that must be a phenomenal car. They'll obviously be releasing, I should imagine, the new 992 GT2 RS as well. I'm sure there'll be prototypes of that going around soon, which is another big one to look out for, GT2 RSs. The last one was twin turbo, I think pushing over 700 brake horsepower. Um, so that, yeah, is a crazy car. So when they release the 992 of that as well, that'll be definitely one to look out for. How much do these run stuff? These are about 200 grand. Um, so the 992 GT3 is at the minute going for a bit of a premium over retail or what you can pick them up for from main dealer uh, just because there's not many of them but yeah auto trader for a good one club sport low mileage this has only done 3,000 miles you're looking at yeah about 200 grand <laughs> You know what, that's the one thing I love about Porsche, it's a little bit skitty, but it holds the road so well. That was the first little pull we just done on the slip road. And yeah, a little bit skitty, exactly like the 991, but God, it feels phenomenal. Holds the road really, really well. So glued to the road, which is a nice thing. Gear changes are so smooth on this gearbox compared to the old one, which is real nice. Any drop sound at all, is it? Nah, but you can't even feel it. So smooth. That's third gear, and it's just so smooth going up and down, which is real nice. Huge improvement from Porsche. As a passenger, what does the, the speed feel like? Quick. Quick. <laughs> the, the quickest Probably and easiest yeah. way to explain it. Quick. Probably the quickest I've been in. Yeah, it feels lovely. It sounds insane as well. For a factory system, sounds real good, but that is because it revs up to 9K, so it's just screaming at you. It drives very, very similar to the McLarens, to be honest, with the way it feels, how planted it is. The rear wheel drive system as well. Same as the McLarens, a little bit skitty. I'd say the McLarens are probably a little bit more responsive than these. However, this feels much more planted. We're just out getting some content for it, for the raffle, which you guys will all see. And then we're also gonna take it out, do some reviews on it and stuff as well. <laughs> I was just saying, this car is phenomenal. It's probably one of my favourite cars we're ever going to give away. I'm a little bit jealous. It's probably in the perfect spec as well. The grey, which is nice and subtle. You've got the club sport pack, the blue seat belts, the blue stitching with the Alcantara. Yeah, this car is crazy. Right guys, so we are now at Snetterton getting all the content for this GT3 that will be live on the site right now and you can win it for just 99p. So all of our content will be on our Facebook and Instagram page. Travis will put the links in our description so then all you can do is follow us and check out for all the updates. But after this, we're gonna put the Porsche GT3 to the test on the new Draggy GPS tracker. I don't know what it's called, but the Dragger, oh. We've got the Draggy. Uh, which we will be doing the launch control in and plus we'll give it a little bit of a review. I'm a little bit biased, I'm a Porsche fan, but this could be one of yours. One of yours? This could be one of you. What? Could be yours. This could be yours for just 99p. Hello right, boys, what have you been up to Joe? Just built the Suron, being collected this afternoon by a carrier for a winner. This one's having a DC kit on it, ready for the winner. So just getting this finished off just before it gets collected. And then got another sewer on, which is the Rockstar one over there. That's being collected this afternoon as well. And then we've got a Rolex collection today at 4.30 as well. Nice, what's so, live on the website right now? Oh, you put me on the spot. Porsche 911 GT3, go get your tickets. Indeed, that is. Don't miss out, best car we've ever done. Speaking of the Porsche GT3, there's a discount code on at the moment for the next 48 hours from when this YouTube video goes live. It's GT320 for 20% off, Travis? Yeah. 20% off your entire order. Go get as many tickets as you can into the Porsche. 
you will not regret it. All right, so we've just pulled up to our private runway in which we're gonna do our draggy pull. So we're gonna see what we can get the 0-62 on the new 992 GT3. Online, it says 3.7. I reckon we're going to give it a good go and try beat it. You reckon Sam's going to beat you again? Sam probably will beat you again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we're just setting up the Draggy app. Again, if you guys don't know what this is, it's a GPS. Uh, basically detects your 0-60, 0-30, do quarter miles and whatnot. Pretty cool device. Yeah, I'm not sure how to... Found out how to do launch control, okay. don't worry. <laughs> Here we go. You ready? Yep. Been a little bit, but 3.9. Uh, 3.9. <laughs> <laughs> That's close. Jeez. We'll try it. We'll uh, turn around Get and we'll try one. it again. It did spin it. Spin a little bit because the traction cut in, so it might be where we lost the I think point two of a second. Yeah, I think that's a little uphill that part as well. So we do it the opposite way. It'd be downhill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Second pull for the draggies. It set up. Yeah. So. Surprising. I thought that would be good. We'll try it once more. Third time lucky. See if we can do it again. That was a quicker 0 to 30 though. So yeah, 0 to 30 got yeah. there. It spun it about 45, I think. I see a traction pop up. Ready? Yep. That was quick. That was. Spin. That was 3.4. 3.44, I told you, Google, you got nothing on me. <laughs> 3.44, that's quick, and it feels it as well. You guys can hopefully hear that. Sounds phenomenal. The one thing in the Porsche that it screams right through the rev range and sounds absolutely insane. I'm only lying, he got 3.9. You lied? Did you actually lie? No, that was 3.4. Oh, <laughs> I was so in trouble myself. You, you, you lied. <laughs> you lied? Did you actually lie? Straight from factory, the Porsche GT3 is a track ready machine, especially this example with the club sport package. You can, however, still daily these or just have it for a fun weekend toy. However, it does come with a cost. That cost is all covered with the smiles for miles. <laughs> ready for the four litre straight six engine under there? Uh, yes. You ready? Yeah, yeah. This is the moment we're all been waiting for. There you go, mate. Oh. That's what you can see. That's an oil cap. <laughs> they don't actually have an engine bay pop. You can't actually get to the engine bay um, as a user. Because all you need to do is top up the oil or coolant, but you actually can't get to the engine bay. Do you want to just put a photo like here or something? Photo, insert photo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, should we show them the front? Yeah. The front. Yeah. Is there an engine in here? No, there's no engine. However, the front in my last Porsche was really big. You could get your whole food shop in there. Cool. Cool, could... yeah. You could fit a mini child in there. It's got the harnesses. Are they the, is that the, what's it? I had it on the review, it's like it comes with the four point yeah, driver. Yeah, the four point harnesses, brand new in the box, will also be given to the winner. I'm a little bit upset we haven't put them on because I'd like to award them, but but you know they're in the front for the winner. Oh, a fire extinguisher as well. That's actually an optional extra for pretty much every supercar. The Fer the Ferrari 488 that we just done recently also had one of these in the passenger footwell. It's also got the bracket in there as well. So if you do decide to get a ticket on this car and you win it and you want to take it around track, don't worry, we've got you covered with the harnesses and the fire extinguisher. But that is that is pretty big. What's in here then? Oh, tell you what guys, don't worry. If you do need to work on the GT3, they do supply you with the most important tool. A 10 mil and a 13 mil spanner. 
is that, that is actually pretty handy. Is that for the, like, the oil cup and that that you can get? Actually? Yeah, the, yeah the, you can't actually use it on anything because you don't have access to anything. But yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty handy tool. All tucked away in the little cubby hole. Happy days. A common question asked by everyone about these Porsche GT3s is does it come with a turbocharger? The answer to that question is no. These Porsche GT3s run a four litre flat six engine pushing out 510 brake horsepower. The demand for these Porsche GT models are incredibly high, which means if you were waiting for one for main dealer, you would have probably been waiting over two years. However, now is your chance to win one for just 99p and what an investment these will be. The 992 generations are likely to become one of the rarest GT models out there. So get your hands on one for just 99p and you could be our next winner. All right, so that is it for this week's video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like and also subscribe for more further videos as well as our live streams for the live draws. So hit the bell notification as well to be notified for every upload. Keep an eye out for future videos. I've got a nice bright green Lamborghini Huracan behind me here. Uh, I've also got another M3 Touring, which that's probably all I'm gonna show you. But that is all, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.